Do you ever feel like your body's not yours or you're watching your life from the outside? Neuroscience explains why. I'm Jenna. I'm a neuroscientist and a licensed therapist, and I study the way the brain and the body communicate to one another through stress and immune signals and how those conversations shape and dictate your physical and mental health. Because the biggest lie that we've ever been told is that our bodies and our minds are separate. So follow along if you want to learn the science behind how to rewire your body and your brain and your life from the cellular level all the way up to your daily behavior without spending years or hundreds of thousands of dollars talking about it. So let's talk about this. If you feel like your body isn't yours or you're watching your life from the outside, here's why. Number one, this is dissociation. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. We're talking about dissociation. One of my subspecialties is working with dissociation, really severe dissociation, disso dissociative identity disorder, which used to be called multiple personality disorder, things like that. It's one of my clinical specialties. But in, in this instance where you're feeling, you're watching your body from above, you feel like your body isn't yours. This can often be related to a failure in childhood to receive enough gentle or safe touch. And that what that does is when you don't get enough gentle or safe touch in childhood, especially, it fails to stimulate what's called C tactile fibers, which are neurons that basically pull signals from your skin, especially where you have more hair and send them to your brain that, and they're stimulated through touch. And so when you don't get enough touch in childhood or that touch is unsafe, those pathways don't operate well. They're dysregulated they're, or they're underdeveloped. So you don't really have a very good body map, what we, as we would call it. You don't really feel your body and you can't really tell where your body is in space because part of the role of these CT fibers is that they are teaching the child through contact where their body ends and the world begins, which is incredibly important for a sense of self. It's incredibly important to build embodiment in general. And this is not because you're weak. It's because those circuits just didn't get developed or they were wired towards danger because touch was dangerous or threatening or unsafe, or you didn't like it. So there was a 2025 systematic review that that looked at a number of different studies and almost all of them point directly to the fact that you can retrain these circuits so that you can feel safer with touch because you want to feel safe with touch. Touch for most people is incredibly, I would say it's a biological imperative for human beings and for all mammals. And it's, there's not really a way around that. And we need to be sure that we can take that in, right? Because if you're struggling with trauma symptoms, but you can't take in touch or it feels threatening or you dissociate, it's going to make it a lot harder to heal from these symptoms because the trauma is living in the body and not in the story. It's not living in the story of what happened.